Hey guys, Ryan here. Today we're going to be reacting to The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Season 1, Episode 3. Now, I know I was very, I was a little harsh at the end of last episode. Sometimes, if I just finished an episode and I wasn't the biggest fan, I can be a little harsh. But, after going back and um, editing it, and sort of just like seeing everything play out again for a second time, it was more like, okay, this wasn't that bad. Um, I will say, still, it wasn't my favorite episode of the Walking Dead franchise by any means, um, but it was still, like, an okay episode, and the ending, the backstory for Isabel, I think it was very important to learn that about Isabel and about Lauren, and, yeah, I mean, then again, we have Daryl on our screen, so I can't complain too much, it's just... Besides the stuff with Isabel and Laurent, there was nothing else really going on except for uh, looking for a horse, which I hate when The Walking Dead does that because we've seen the writing that this show can do, that people that are behind these shows can do. Why are we spending a whole episode, especially when it's only six episodes, like you should have enough story to tell in six episodes, in my opinion to where the second episode isn't primarily focused around finding a horse when you had one at the beginning of the episode as well. So, yeah. I mean, we definitely met some new characters and saw some cool action scenes. And I'm meeting the new characters is probably important. And I'm glad we got to learn more about the other characters. But I'm hoping this episode has a little bit more going on than looking for a horse because, yeah, it's just... It's 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 still good, like, it's still enjoyable to watch. It's just, I know that the writers and the producers behind these shows, or this show, can do better. Because I've, I've heard mixed reviews about Dead City. I've heard a lot of people don't really love Dead City as much as they love Daryl Dixon. But personally, right now, I'm the opposite way. I'm flipped. I think I like Dead City more than Daryl Dixon currently. But, obviously, The Ones Who Live is number one. But, also, disclaimer... If I sound sick, it's because I am a little under the weather today. My throat is a little sore and my nose is a little stuffed. So if you hear me sniffing or sneeze or something, that is what's going on. And, yeah. But that's not going to stop me from watching The Walking Dead. We all know that. But, yeah. I'm really excited to get into this episode because the title of this episode has Paris in it. And I'm so excited to see Paris post-apocalyptic because that's just going to be so cool. And, yeah. Enough talking. Let's get into this episode. Ooh. This is very interesting. Wow, that's so, that's amazing. Take the horse. If something happens to this damn horse, I'm going to be pissed after the whole last episode looking for one. It scared me. Sure this is the I love them as a duo. As a I just do. Oh. New character. Mm. Why is he kind of creepy? He's kind of creepy. Yeah, literally. Like, can you back up? Now, we hear music. Okay, so they did find a radio. Who's there? Get going? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. We gotta talk to some people. Not long. Those people being Carol. Do you like your show? What the fuck? I used some parts for um, What? Were all the wires cut? Ah man. That was he talking about. Please, come on, come on, come on, come on. So is the radio working? Cause I'm assuming not if all the wires are cut, but... Um... Yeah, something is wrong with this guy. A whole production out of walkers? No. Ooh. Ew! Oh my goodness. Yeah, something is wrong with him. That's loud, dude. That's gonna attract a lot of walkers. 
Oh no. Yeah. This was a try. Come on, girl, you can do it. Oh my goodness, he's dragging a whole other walker. One thing this show has done very well is the walkers. Dangerous everywhere. You did it your way. Now we're gonna do it mine. Yes, Daryl. We're going to Paris. <clears throat> yes. Let's get the hell out of here because that definitely attracted a lot of them. Wow. Oh my goodness. Welcome home. That's so beautiful. It's a very famous. Like, I'm not like this one. It's about a wary wizard who wants to die. But when death comes, he has a chain of heart. He asks for help carrying his body so he can keep going on. What is it? Jim Morrison. Who's that? He's an American rock star. Oh. He died in Paris. No clue who that is, yeah, but yeah, interesting so. fact. Those are fresh flowers. Not to fret, Mr. you died. You will not die in Paris. Thank you for that reassurance. No! Oh. Let's come away! With the key. Ooh, I like that they're archers. Or like, you know, have bows. I think that guy in the back had a crossbow too. Give that to Daryl. Alphonse, we've been waiting a long time to meet you, young man. Oh, he's like, ugh. Everybody wants to meet me. I'm so famous. But you got a radio here, right? You hear that? Hopefully. Or dodge the question. Hey, voila. We welcomed our 64th member a few months ago. Oh, wow. There's quite a Is few of them room? then. Here's the kitchen. Oh, uh, got a little attention there. That's how many rivers. So you got the tip knocked out of them. The military helicopter crashed into it at the beginning. Oh no. It must be magical to stand on the red. Is that a real? Look up at like, is that real or is that CGI or like a green screen? Because that looks real. Uh, wait for us somewhere. Carol, she's waiting for you, Daryl. Oh, yes, come on. If you do this. I can't believe this show is supposed to be Daryl and Carol. Like, it probably would be so different if it started with those two. A month. Well, then will take you the rest of the way, right? For the last part of the trip, yes. Then my job's done. Oh. Because that ain't gonna work at all. If you don't have a radio, how are you gonna help me? I'm about to steal something, I will. You won't have to. I think I know where to find something. We'll go in the morning. In the morning? I have a lot to put on a kid, don't you think? God chooses our burdens. Who is that? The, the, what? This kid is like weird. Sonia. Why is everybody just stopping and watching him? Her husband died a few days ago. She refuses any food or comfort. No one's been able to console her. Except him? What is so special about this kid? Like I'm not I'm not saying he's like worthless or anything. I'm just saying like what is makes him so different than every other kid? <gasps> is this the villain guy? Cuz I've been waiting to see him. Oh, thank God. I've been waiting to see more of him. Oof. There is some weird shit going on over here in Paris. <gasps> He knows her. Hello. She rolling a blunt. Maybe it's a cigarette. I don't know. Qui toi? Oh, who are you? So they like don't actually know each other. 
Qu'est-ce qui t'amène ici, Codron Il y a quelques années, il y a un voyageur qui est venu. Il nous a parlé du mouvement. À Paris. She's gonna tell him about Daryl, and she already knows Daryl, so they're both gonna team up and try to find him. Ces tatouages, et vous me remercierez plus tard. Quand j'aurai obtenu ce que vous recherchez. Américain Ouh. Mais moi, il a dû se noyer maintenant, non I knew this recording was going to come back and bite him in the ass. I don't understand why he even recorded that in the first place. Because chances are that's not going to get from Paris to the Commonwealth and to Carol. I mean, maybe it will, but now the enemies found it. I can't imagine, like, being in this world and all you care about is, like, killing people. Like, I get their motives, but at the same time, like, there's many other alternative solutions. Oof. She is, like, kind of intimidating. She's really intimidating. I, I really like her as a villain. They both are. Oh my gosh, are these variants that they're testing on? Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh! Oh! Wow! Wow. Wow. This episode is way better than the last one already. We're seeing a lot more story and a lot more... Like, that's insane. The variants and all that. Because that walker was strong. It literally ripped chains out of the cement wall. Wow, that's insane. That was crazy. I hope we continue to see more variants, though. Like, I want to see more variants just out in the wild. Is this her apartment? I had a feeling we were going to come back here if we were going to Paris. I live next door. Aww. Mm, actually, I don't feel that bad for him. He was kind of an asshole. Oh. Laurent's never seen that face. No. Find something to trade, get some information on a boat. Interesting. God, I love her. I just love her. I wasn't always in that. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, I love her. Never imagining how bad it would get. I was just thought about it. I didn't do much thinking back then. You seem like someone who's always thinking. I can totally see them being best friends. Obviously, nobody's replacing girl. Carol, though, but I really Maybe like her. Maybe the same that way. But I'm glad our paths crossed. Oh, I actually love them. Oh, okay, dear, I'll say nothing. We should get going. Oh, he's so bad at affection. Oh. I got it. No, thanks. You don't want to put the kid out of its misery? I mean, I guess we don't really know what it feels, but still. Oh, that's actually so sad. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so get the hell out of there now. Stop standing there, girl. I love you, but you gotta do something. Oh no. It's the acidic ones. Oh, oh, oh my god, the way it's moving. Get the f shit out of there. Oh my, it's skin. Oh my god. Smart. Smart, 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 but disgusting. These walkers are actually so cool, though. Yeah, girl, stop standing there and get the shit out of there. I know, it's sad. Oh, wait! <gasps> no! I didn't even realize it was the girl from last episode. Oh! Well, that makes sense why that was so hard for her. Oh. I should be here by now. Sorry about that little girl. 
It's kind of insane how she was like the same age. Like they just don't age once they turn. Oh, his mother. Does he know that that's his mom? I think so. I think he does know. If there is a deal to be made, this is the place. Here, I reserve passage. We're meeting a lot of new characters, and I'm kind of getting nervous. Oh god, I really don't like this. Oh, those just just some skulls in the wall. The catacombs, brother. Why? Literally, what? Why is there thousands of bones covering the floor? What the shit? Okay. Why are we just ignoring this? This is a really cool set, though, but, like, why are they just ignoring that? What? A club? What in the world? How is this just going on in the world? And... Oh, yeah, this kid should not be here. She's used to being in a nightclub. <laughs> but this is like wholesome, because like the world may be dead, but like people are still people, you know? They still need their entertainment in their drag queens. Someone here has to have a radio or something. The water lilies. Sad or lonely. It's like a port in the storm. That reminds me of home. Oh. I really just want him to go home because I just want to see him reunite with everybody. He saved it. That's something. Oh, did he get something? Let's hope so. I see him. What do you say? Let's know what we've got. Give him your drugs. Who's watching? Give him your drugs, give him your jewelry, and get across that sea. Okay, but who is that just watching them? Okay. Says he knows people who can help you. Okay. Okay. Aww. I hope they find happiness with each other, honestly. Oh, oh god. No, okay. Of course chaos breaks out. <gasps> Is that not her boyfriend? Or am I crazy? Why is he? It's been a minute now. Just a couple years. Awkward. That's so awkward. Is this your friend? We travel together. Okay. We'll wait back to America. I hope that he doesn't not help Daryl just because he oh, thinks right? that they're together yeah. or something and is jealous. It's not possible. I've, you know, I've had things. Like, you literally told her to leave her sister by and you think she's just gonna do that and go with you. You sing very well. Oh. I like your necklace. Someday, I'll see the Eiffel Tower myself. Like my mom did on her birthday. Yeah. Aww. She's so yeah. sweet. I'll ask her on and I'll see what I can find out. For a friend. Okay. We've got things to buy. Period King. Actually being useful. Oh, so Hello, lad. Is he yours? It's Laura. It's Lily's boy. It's Lily's boy. I just want to talk to you. I'll explain later. Thank you. Does she think he's gonna do something? I love the way her hair is right now. It's so pretty. That hairstyle really suits her. Should we talk in my office? You still love champagne. I had That was like mm, ten years ago now. I think she's good. Maybe even honestly more. Like. How far are we in this apocalypse? 11, 12? I don't even know, because we had the six-year time jump, then another year, and, like, before the six-year time jump, we had a year-and-a-half time jump, 
jump, and then it was like what two years before Shut that. I can't even keep track. We're at least 10, 11 ish and years. And Lily, she wants it? No, Lily died having the baby. Mm. You still should have told me. Told that you. My sister died. And I had a son. What are you talking about? It's a mistake. You. He cheated on her with. Who was it found you? Bleeding in the bathtub. Picked you up, carried you to the hospital, nursed you back to health. That was me. I don't want to talk about this. Man. Guilt tripping her? Are you kidding? To help my friend get home. Okay. Well, this man jump. is an asshole on 10. No. No, with this asshole. Oh, Daryl, I can do this. Exactly, Daryl. Asshole. No. Fuck him. It's okay. Yes. Oh, I love Daryl. Oh, despair. You're gonna guilt trip her over taking care of her after she tried to kill herself? Wow, you're such a good person. You cheated on her with her own sister? Wow, you're such a good person. Hey. Sorry, I was trying to help. I thought I could do it. Look, we all got shit from our past that we're trying to run from, not just you. I was wrong earlier. We're not the same, you and I. I'm trying to help you keep your promise. That's all you care about, isn't it? I asked for your help because I needed it. I don't need a hero. I never did. Oh. I really like the dialogue in this show. That poor kid, I actually feel so bad for him. Oh, oh my god, they're literally right on their ass. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I hope they don't kill everybody. And I hope they don't give away where that they're that they were there or where they are. But I can totally see him doing that. Madame Jeanne. Auto control American. I understand he has been here. Oh no. Uh yikes. His name is Daryl Dixon. How are they able to find him so easily? Daryl. Listen, I'm sorry. I it was a lot more than I imagined. Oh, don't feel bad. I get it. I just love her. I don't believe in coincidences. I think there was a reason I had to come to Paris to see him again to find out the truth. I mean, yeah, you did learn a lot. Don't Even though that. it was pretty much all like negative information that was probably not They're very good to hear. After you, be fine. He'll be sad to see you go. Make something up. I don't tell him about his birth because everything about it was horrible. The way she died, the way he was born. What are you going to tell him about Quinn? Because you need to stop lying to him. He deserves to know who he is. He just don't accept how special he is. Maybe there's something you need to believe, because the world's so fucked up. Or maybe he's just a regular kid. Yeah, it's... A regular kid that got lucky and lived. Exactly. You did this! Tous les deux! What? I knew he was gonna overhear them, but like, I'm confused as to what he's mad about. I'm sorry, I don't even actually care about this kid that much. Like, he's so sweet, but like, I don't know, run away. Like, I'm sorry. How did they find them, though? Did he give them up? Oh god, oh god, Daryl. Uh, it's like a f jungle gym. Daryl, oh my god, hurry the f shit up and get out. Daryl, you actually have no time. There you go. Oh. Come on, Daryl. Oh no. Daryl has like no weapons either, besides that knife that he dropped. There you go. I hate to say it, Daryl, but you gotta kill him. Oh no. Oh. Oh shit. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, they killed him. And she's by herself. Oh, no! Um, what? Oh my god. Move. 
Okay. Or stand there and fall in. Whatever works for you, Daryl. That was kind of, that felt like a quick episode, honestly, but I really liked this one. I liked it a lot more than um, the last episode. I just, I need to know, how are they able to find him so easily? It makes sense because literally everywhere he goes, he meets someone and talks to someone, so I get that, but like, like, I just don't understand how they found the, like, nightclub that he was in. I don't understand how they found that, but I understand how they went from the nightclub to where he was because, you know, that guy obviously ratted him out, but we learned a lot more this episode. We learned that Quinn is still alive who is her boyfriend from before and actually apparently cheated on her with her sister and Laura is actually his son and sorry I know I shouldn't have said I don't care about Laura but kids in this show are just so annoying like I don't know but also if I was that age I'd probably be upset too if I found out they were been lying to me but like we don't know how much he overheard but clearly he overheard something because he was pretty pissed but like, why are you running away? There's literally people storming your place that you're staying in with guns. Why are you storming away? Um, and, I'm sorry, but the kids in these shows are just such an inconvenience sometimes. Like, running away right now, and she's trying to chase him as people are literally getting shot and killed, and Daryl's being chased, and everybody's arguing, and it's just utter chaos, and we just don't have time to chase after him, too. But, anyways, yeah, I think Daryl was just saying the truth there, too. Like, he's just a regular kid. Like... So what? Uh, he's living in an apocalypse. So are, is everybody else that's alive right now. Like, what makes him so special? Because his mom became a walker after he was born, but he was still attached? I don't know. But, um, that, I don't know her name, but the villain, the girl who was, in, at the end of the first episode, she was on the boat. This episode, she was in the office. Whatever they are experimenting with is so interesting, because the walkers, I don't know what the hell is going on, but they're so strong and yeah I don't know how that thing was able to rip itself out of the wall if, if the cement wall the chains were you know stuck in and it was able to rip itself out like blown away by that and I'm so interested to see more of those powerful walkers um, and the variants and stuff I, I'm assuming that is a variant but it sounds like they're also testing them at the same time so I don't know exactly but that guy at the end, I don't think he's dead. The one that's, I think his name's Kadron or Kadron or something like that. He, I think he's still alive because um, they started shooting before he was able to, like, kill him. But, yeah, great. This episode was really good. I really enjoyed this episode, and I loved seeing Paris. Um, I'm excited to see the Eiffel Tower more close up because I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere that we do see that at some point in this show, and I would love to see that. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Full-length reactions to this episode and every other show I react to is available on my Patreon. The link down below, or the link for that is down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.